Hey guys, Chris here from the YouTube channel Sabrosa. Today I wanted to do an unboxing and review of my OPNL number no. 8 Oak Mushroom Knife. I found this knife on Amazon Prime for $49. The traditional OPNL knife has a beechwood handle and the beechwood version of this knife is $29. The oak version comes with this sheath and this uh, pencil box and the beechwood version is just the knife. The Amazon reviews talked about some of the wood swelling and the and the blade getting tight. And I when I bought the oak version, I, I bought the oak because I thought it might be less prone to swelling as the as the beechwood. Uh, I've seen several reviews online and one video had a solution to the tight blade and that was keeping your uh, open L knife in a Tupperware container with a dehumidifier or a silicone pack. Another channel has OpenL mods where the video creator is customizing his OpenL knives with carving and wood burning tools. So there's lots of really cool ways that you could personalize your knife. And engraving is also an option to personalize your knife, but I don't recall seeing that option from Amazon when I ordered it. So when you receive your knife, if you get the oak version, it comes with this pencil box and with this small brochure. And the sheath of the case is very nice if it it's perfectly without bending the bristles. So it comes just exactly like you see here. The, the blade comes open, the knife comes open, there's a little tiny nail, and then this pencil box just slides open. So the, the sheath or the case that comes with the knife is very nice and you can see that it's very, very strong and durable. It's a nice heavy denim. You can see their logo here, this crowned hand. And on the back, here's their logo, it's OPNL, and there's a, there's a spot for your carabiner. And also, you can use this to attach to your belt or to your fanny pack. And so you can keep your, keep your knife right at your side and ready to use. A nice thing about the case is that when you put the knife inside the case, that it fits perfectly without uh, bending the bristles. This brush is for field dressing your mushrooms. It's just sweeping off the dirt and bugs so they don't make their way into your collection bag and into the gills of your other mushrooms. And there's also a tiny hole here for you to hang the knife with. At first I thought this was a gimmick, but after seeing it used and using it myself, I think the, that the brush is, is every bit as, as important as the knife itself. Uh, there's there's this tiny hole for hanging and one of the mods that people are doing is drilling out this hole bigger. Uh, the OpenL knife has a vibro lock or a safety twist lock mechanism and I'll, I'll show you what that means. And you can lock the blade in the closed position like this. And you can also open up the knife and lock the blade in the open position. This lock mechanism is proprietary to OpenL knives, and OpenL has manufactured knives since 1890 in Savoy, France. They're a family-run company with a rich history, and they even have their own knife museum. Originally, this was a working man's knife, and it became emblematic of French culture. In the mid-19th century, the King of France declared a law that declared that all French knives were to bear an emblem or logo of their maker. So the OpenL knife has a crowned hand or a crown above a hand as their symbol. These symbols can be found in alchemical texts, Rosicrucian texts, and also in Masonic symbolism, including French Freemasonry. The official explanation of the crowned hand comes from the coat of arms of the province where OpenL is located, having to do with supposed relics of St. John the Baptist, whose three fingers were supposedly brought back from Alexandria in the 5th century. Some interesting connection to the Joanites there, another Gnostic group. That's pretty interesting stuff. So you can, you can see on the blade here that there's this crowned hand. And it also says inox, and inox means um, inoxidable or non-oxidizing, so the, the blade is made of a a stainless steel that won't oxidate. The number 8 is the most widely used size of OpenL knife with many variations just like this mushroom knife is a variation on the number 8 OpenL. 
uh, in addition to the brush made of boar's hair, the knife blade is a special design just for harvesting wild mushrooms. Again, at first I thought this was a gimmick, but after seeing the knife used and using it myself, I find it to be an extremely useful knife. The attention to detail is excellent, and my knife arrived very sharp. Some of the reviews I read claimed that their mushroom knife arrived dull, but mine was definitely sharp when it arrived in the Amazon locker, and Amazon even managed to ship the knife without damaging it, probably due to the sturdy pencil box that it came with, and I'm actually using that pencil box as a pencil box, so it wasn't just a waste of packaging. I first saw this knife on one of my favorite YouTube channels, it's called Yellow Eleanor. The host of the videos takes the viewer with her foraging for wild mushrooms. I believe she was harvesting some bear's head mushrooms, which are a tooth fungus like lion's mane. And she was, and cutting a tooth fungus from a stump or a fallen tree can be a little bit tricky. And the special design of the blade, called a, called a hawk nose blade or a hawk bill blade, it works perfectly for this situation where you have to sort of wrap the blade around and use your thumb for leverage, something like chip carving. Her uh, enthusiasm is infectious, and not just about uh, foraging for mushrooms, but even for her mushroom knife. And I recall writing myself a note that said, research mushroom knives. So I did, I looked at all the different reviews, and I checked out all the different mushroom knives online, and decided to go with this one. Primarily because I, I like the design, I like that you can lock it open, that you can lock it closed, and I really like the um, sheath that comes with it, or the case. I'm really happy with it. I have no complaints. I think maybe this hole could be made a little bit larger, but that could also just be a personal preference and obviously it's not too difficult to drill a hole out a little bit larger. I'm very happy with the usefulness and the sturdiness of the case. I like to attach the sheath to my belt or to my waist pack and I've put together a video about my mushroom foraging kit, which is a fanny pack and I've got it filled full of a map and compass and my mushroom knife and some different um, bags that I use, some different mesh bags for collecting mushrooms. So if you like this video, maybe check out my other video about a mushroom foraging kit, how to put together your own. And if you liked the video, please leave me a comment with your suggestions and thoughts. And please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you helping me get my channel off the ground. So thank you for watching and LVX.